hi what's going on with you and you're welcome to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to build a digital wallet system and i'm doing this based on the request that i've been getting from quite a lot of people they've been asking me to build a digital wallet system showing them how to do that on youtube and i've actually not responded to that for quite a few reasons and one of the reasons is that they don't actually know what is actually involved in building the digital wallet system they thought that it's something that you can just build within 10 to 15 minutes and then you'll be done with it. a digital wallet system to be able to build a world-class digital system there are quite a lot of things that need to actually come in place you need to put things in place to be able to do something of that nature because that has to do with finance okay and i want to actually to, I want to use this video right now to explain what a digital wallet system is, the types of digital wallet system, and quite a few other things. And if you listen and then stay with me throughout the video, we are going to gain some information that you can actually use to build your own digital wallet system. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us even find out what um, a digital wallet system is. And I'm going to use slide to actually do that. You know, so let's take a look at that. And what is a digital wallet system? A digital wallet system is a software application or service that allows uh, users to store money and transact various types of a digital assets such as payment information loyalty cards passwords and even cryptocurrencies so that's just what um, the digital wallet system is okay it's just a software that allows users to actually transact digital assets like payment information and your cryptos etc and without wasting more time let's dive in into the types of a digital wallet system that we have and the first one is that we have a, a payment uh, wallet and if you don't know what a payment wallet is these digital wallets are designed for for making online and then offline payment. They store credit cards information, bank account details, and other payment methods. An example of such is Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, and Paper Pay. We even also have the one that is actually located in Africa that they call Send Up by Flutterway, and we also have cheaper cash. So those are examples of a payment wallet that you can actually use both online and offline in some cases. Okay, so the second type uh, digital wallet system that we have is the one that we call cryptocurrency wallet. And if you don't know what that is, this type of wallets are used to actually store, send, and receive cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. They come in various forms, including software wallets, and that's actually some of sometimes they can actually be online. Uh, application this can sometimes be desktop application and even mobile application and they also have uh, their hardware wallets so the physical devices that we carry around that we normally use that to carry cash and something like sometimes it could be um, credit cards like our the atm cards and then the likes and then for the third one which is called the password manager so for password manager the why they are not strictly actually called the wallets the the, the password managers actually store and encrypt your password making it easier for you to manage your online transactions or online passwords or your online account securely and then for the fourth one which is actually called mobile banking apps you know uh, many banks actually offer mobile apps that act as a digital wallet which actually enable you to manage your account and then transfer money do whatever that you can actually do uh, traditionally by just walking into the bank they bundle that together and then send that to you as a mobile banking app that's actually a wallet digital wallet if you don't know that you have to put that in place right now so the fifth one which is called a loyalty card wallet uh, we will talk about loyalty card wallets these wallets actually store loyalty program information such as reward cards for various stores and then services so that just those are the the five types of uh, digital wallet systems that they have out there so the next thing that i want us to take a look at right now is actually the features of a digital wallet system and I'm going to just take a, a look at a couple of the features that are actually embedded in that. And the first one is the secure storage. So when we talk about the secure storage, digital wallets use encryption and other security measures to protect your sensitive information. And after that, we want to talk about the convenience. Okay. So once we talk about convenience, we're actually talking about the feature of a digital wallet system. They have to provide a convenient way to actually access and use various types of information without carrying physical cards or documents around. So for the third one, which is actually called a mobile payment so this particular feature many digital wallets enable contactless mobile uh, payment using a near field communication which is nfc technology and it allows you to actually pay um, at a supported uh, point of a sales terminals which is actually called the pos that's the popular name they call that pos so the fourth one is integration with apps and when they talk about this uh, integration with apps they're actually talking about a way that you can actually build a digital wallet that are actually integratable with some other application in such a way that they allow you to store to use your stored information seamlessly across other places where you perform transactions 
okay and it has to be secure when you do that and after that the fifth one i want to look at right now is called budgeting and expense uh, tracking okay so when we talk about budgeting and expense tracks some wallets have features to help you track spending set budgets and monitor financial activities and that is just that and for the sixth feature and then for the sixth one is actually called a multi-currency support and to explain that Cryptocurrency wallets often support multiple types of cryptocurrencies and then provide tools for managing your crypto holdings. And if you actually build such a support, I mean, a such a functionality into your digital wallet, that, that will be a plus. Okay. And I know that it's not all the wallet, digital wallet system that actually need you to have this, partic uh, this particular multi currency support. Okay. But if you are going to build a world class, uh, uh, uh cryptocurrency wallet something of this nature has to be in place okay unless if they is actually not needed in what you want to do then you can exclude that but i just want you to understand that in building a digital wallet system an example like that of the cryptocurrency wallet system you have to inc incorporate something of this nature okay so that's just that and after that we want to take a look at the next slide which is going to actually talk about the security considerations that you need to build in place so in the next slide we're going to be talking about the security considerations you know in building a digital wallet system and okay so why digital wallet systems actually um, offer convenience it's also important for you to consider security okay and the first thing that we need to consider is actually called a strong password and when we talk about this strong password we are basically trying to make sure that the application is built in such a way that you have to use strong and unique password for your digital wallets and your associated accounts okay in such a way that it proves unhackable to people that might you know a kind of uh, try to hack your system or hack people's wallet within your your system okay then the second one is what we call two-factor authentication which most of you are actually familiar with this when they talk about two-factor authentication it has to be that anytime someone attends or you attempt to log into your um, your wallet your accounts on their wallet you, you, your wallet will have to send them something like a notification or something like an authentication code for you to authenticate if you enter such uh, authentication being sent to either your phone or your email that's how the system will know that it's actually you and if they enter a code that is not actually correct uh, with the one that they sent you the system will not allow them access to the um, to that particular wallet system okay so that's just what that is with the, the two-factor authentication which facebook does it now most of the application the strong applications are, that we have around the world they actually embrace that two-factor authentication normally called a 2fa all right so after that we need to take a look at another one so the next one is actually called a regular update so when we talk about a regular update this one actually explains itself we are basically talking about making sure that the uh, the application your digital wallet system and its operating system actually stays up to date if you have issues you have to go to your code update the code to make sure that you remove all the security holes that you have within that system so it has to be updated so people will have to log in and then update it to the latest version you know in order to eliminate all the the, the holes that has been found in the previous code okay so that's just what that is and then let's go to the next slide and that is, has to be with the uh the next um, security consideration which talks about the backup this the system has to like you need to provide a way to regularly back up your digital wireless information to avoid loss of your data okay that's just what this part is actually talking about and after that we need to actually move to the so let's take a look at um, the number five which means that you just have to be aware of your scams and what that means is that you just need to be cautious about phishing attempts and a fraudulent app that mimic legitimate wallet so when you find out that people when they find out that your application is actually doing well and then they discover that people will have a lot of accounts and a lot of money within your system they may go out and then create an application that looks like just your own and they will begin to present it to people that have an account with your website and people that actually log, uh, i mean that own an account with your system may not know that that app is not actually yours because it looks just the same way that your own looks like okay it's actually very hard to detect by those people who are actually using your uh, application but let people that are actually experiencing that angle and they will attempt to log in with their real credentials and the people who build such an application who are mimicking your app are going to collect their information as they, they are trying to log in with your with their real uh, login credentials and when they get it they will go to your own application and attempt to log in into their real account and then claim their money from that place 
Okay, so you need to be aware of that. Each time you find out that people have built an application that looks just like your own, you need to report them or begin to make some, uh, you need to make some broadcasts telling people that are actually within your system to be aware of such fraudulent activity. So that is just that. And then finally, the last thing that I want to take a look at now has to be uh, the roadmap to creating a digital wallet system. Okay, and I want to I want to actually present this particular slide because of some of you who actually been asking me to build a digital wallet system. I know that you don't actually know what it is takes to it takes to build a digital wallet system. And that's why I want to show you this uh, uh, this particular uh, roadmap to creating a digital wallet system. See, if you want to build the digital wallet system, well, one is that we're going to need. Um, an authentication system and that has to do with user registration that has to be a sign up and sign in system and that's that's going to take a lot of time and a lot of resources to be able to build and after that the second thing that is actually needed there is integration so your app may need several apis uh, an example could be if once the system is going to actually be collecting money, most of the time you need to collect something like a fiat currency from them, collect it and then deposit the equivalent amount into their wallet. In that case, they need to use something like a payment gateway. You need to in integrate a payment gateway that will, maybe they could use their ATM card or maybe do a transfer if you generate something like a virtual account number for them. And then once they transfer money to that wallet you need to collect the money and then you need to uh, kind of uh, top up their wallet system based on the amount that, that, that they actually paid you okay so that's going to need integration so mostly it's just going to be an api okay you need to just integrate that maybe a payment gateway and after that you're going to need product and services so with that you just have to ask yourself a question if you build a wallet system people are coming into that and then adding money to it what are they going to be buying with the money that you have within the system okay so if you, you need to have a product or a service that you're rendering that if people try to take such a service or product you have to deduct the money that they have from that particular wallet balance okay so that's just another thing you need to put in place and if you're building it in such a way that it's multi-purpose based it can be that they can actually purchase um whatever that they want to purchase on some other system and then you pay them through a wallet like paper pay normally do and apple pay even google pay so that's just the thing that i want you guys to understand and encoding this this application is not something that i can just say let me code now i cannot code that right now it's not that i cannot do it but it's going to take a lot of time and I, I may do such a thing in the future but not now but for some of you who are actually curious and then wanting to actually build something of that nature i have a project that is ongoing which is uh, the world class btu script that i'm building we have a digital wallet inside of that place you can actually get such a course and you can learn how to build a digital wallet within that particular system i mean just uh, an online uh, wallet system people normally add money to their balance their wallet balance within that system and then use it to purchase something like a time data pay for utility bill and some other um, services that we provide within that system okay so you may want to actually purchase that because i'm not quite sure when i'm going to re release a video that's going to be teaching us how to build a digital wallet system from the scratch so that's just what that is and and I hope that you like what you just saw. And if you are not subscribed, you should subscribe. And if you like the video, just hit the like button. And I will see you in the next one.